thanks thanks to both of you for uh, oh. uh, offering to do this. So I'll send you the uh, script. You can both open it and uh, read it to yourselves. Are you allowed to read it before we... You, you can read it before you speak it, but just read it to yourselves, not out loud. Okay. that just, just that That's a little bit less intimidating than I thought. I thought we were going to be like, okay, we here it recording, is. we open the document and boom. I, I mean, like that. Then it's not your fault. <laughs> well, let's try it that way. I'll send you the script as soon as you both have it. Uh, you'll start reading. Graham, you're the lawyer. Is that what was decided? And Carly, you're the witness. That's what you've decided. And any nudity is important. Bonus. The script. Yes, yes. The nudity that's in the script is uh, is there. I'm taking my pants off, whether it's in the <laughs> script or not. So. Are you both ready to take away this important uh, court case? Yeah. All right. So let me get this straight. You're claiming that the perpetrator, Peter Piper, picked a peck of pickled peppers? A peck of pickled peppers perpetrated, Peter Piper picked, probably. Well, if Peter Piper probably picked a peck of pickled peppers, let me ask you this. Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper probably picked? Last I saw, they were in Susie's shoe shine shop. Is this the same Susie who sells uh, seashells by the seashore? She used to, but she stopped selling seashells by the seashore and started serving sushi. See, Saturdays and Sundays, Susie's sushi, Susie's a sushi chef. On weekdays, she's in a shoe shine shop. I know this because I saw Susie sitting in a shoe shine shop next to Peter Piper's pickled peppers. Yes, it says here you claim that. Well, let's call her Sushi Chef, Sushi Chef Susie, shall we? You claim that on the day in question, that in the shoe shine shop where Sushi Chef Susie shines, that she sits, <laughs> and where she sits, she shines. It's true. Susie Chef Susie, Sushi Chef Susie sits in a shoe shine shop. She shines where she sits, and where she shits, she shines. <laughs> where she sits, she shines. And where does the kitten come into it? What kitten? Didn't you tell Sushi Chef Susie that the shoe shine shop has she was shining where she sits, that you saw a cute kitten eating cubed chicken in the kitchen? I did not mention any kitten eating chicken in the kitchen. We did talk about a dog chewing shoes. She's a chihuahua called Ha Ha. Whose shoes? Whose shoes does Chihuahua Ha Ha choose to chew? <laughs> Chihuahua, haha, chooses to chew shoes of sushi, sh sushi, chef Susie. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> sushi, chef Susie of the shoe shine shop who shines where she sits. Why does Chihuahua, haha, choose sushi, chef Susie's shoes to chew? I thought perhaps if she's peckish, she'd prefer to pick. Peter Piper's pickled peppers. I suppose she chooses Sushi Chef Susie's shoes because of the bitter butter batter on them. <laughs> There's bitter butter batter on Sushi Chef Susie's shoes? Who's butter bittered the batter? Betty Butter brought some butter. Sh but she said the butter's bitter. And her bitter butter bittered her batter. <laughs> Betty Butter's bought butter's bitter. And chihuahua ha ha, bitter bitter butter batter? Tell me, if I was to put Betty Bopper's bitter butter in my batter, it would make my batter bitter? Bitterly bitter buttered batter. But a bit of Betty's bu better butter will make any batter better. So it'd be better if Betty Bopper bought a bit of better butter instead of the bitter batter 
Betty bought her bot. Mm. Yes. That way, Chihuahua Haha wouldn't choose to chew Sushi Chef Susie's shoes as she shines where she shit sits. So you're saying that Chihuahua Haha would perhaps have pickled pepper from Peter Piper's peck of peppers in Sushi Chef Susie's shoe shine shop instead of biting the bitter butter batter Betty Butter Bot. I think I've made that very clear. You have indeed. Thank you for your testimony. If it pleases the court, I rest my case. <laughs> That's terrific. <laughs> that was great. That's yeah, wonderful. There was, there, was, there was a peak there, about, yeah, three quarters way through where it just broke. But yeah, I was we, hoping. We, uh, we found the rope and we, yeah, we pulled it. <laughs> I thought you both did uh, admirable. I thought that was wonderful from both of you. Uh, you both uh, just barreled into those sentences and uh, without apology. And it was better for it, I think. All right. Well, thank you, Carly. Thank you. That was fun. Thank you. Thank you, Graham. Thank you, Rob.